Now, the University of Notre Dame has a long-standing relationship with the U.S. military, and today that special partnership continues through the Warrior Scholarship Program. ABC 57 kickoff's Mary Kaltreiter shows us how it all comes down to God, country, Notre Dame. Mary? Yes, the University of Notre Dame has had a long history for respecting the military. It actually dates all the way back to 1859 with the Continental Cadets. And now the university continues to show their respect for those who have served with the Warrior Scholar Project. I was in the Navy. I spent six years and I moved to Bremerton, Washington and was stationed on a submarine out there for four years, uh, the USS Connecticut SSN 22. So you were on a submarine for four years? Yes. I was in the Army for three years. I was in South Carolina at Fort Jackson for five months, and then I spent a year in Korea at Camp Casey, which is up by the DMZ, and then I came home for about four to five months, spent time at Fort Bragg, and then deployed to Iraq and spent some time in Syria as well, nine and a half to ten months total in the Middle East. So I was uh, in the Navy for six years. I was a nuclear electrician. I spent the majority of my time in Norfolk, Virginia. I had a couple schools I had to go to that were in Saratoga Springs, New York, and Charleston, South Carolina as well. So I've kind of moved around a few times. John Noonan, Josh Corhorn, and Shauna Staples share one thing in common. They all served our country. But now the trio share something else. I got accepted to Notre Dame while I was in Iraq, so it's kind of cool. There's an officer on board named Tom Catalano, and he's an alumni of Notre Dame. And uh, when I listed my schools, he just kept saying, and, and Notre Dame, right? And, and Notre Dame. So I put it down uh, and ultimately chose this school, and I don't regret it one bit. It was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. They are students at the University of Notre Dame. You spend a certain amount of time serving for your country and you get out and there's like big question of like what now? Veteran opportunities can really direct people to what their next step in life is, whether you do six or 20 in the military. And I think it's just really important because they take care of you while you're in, but you kind of have to just learn how to figure it out when you're out. Since 9-11, just over 5 million Americans have served in the military. 50,000 have been injured in combat, and more than 7,000 have paid the ultimate sacrifice. And nearly 2 million men and women who have served in uniform will transition back to civilian life. These men and women are incredible. They're heroic. They, uh, you know, literally fought the enemy on the battlefield. Um, but they're more terrified about their transition back to civilian life than they are about facing the enemy. And so this uh, Warrior Scholar Project really equips them and prepares them mentally, but also academically for the rigor of a college environment. Each year, the University of Notre Dame opens its doors to student veterans. Through the Warrior Scholar Project, an academic boot camp now in its fifth year, helping those who enlisted right out of high school for the academics they will be faced with at an elite institution. But more so than the opportunities the university provides, it is also what the veterans bring to campus. From the bigger picture. I think just seeing people from all these different backgrounds, it really makes you appreciate what you've been given. And it also in it inspires and motivates you to do at least the best that you can do, to give it everything you have, to take advantage of the opportunities that you've given. To even just the experiences. I did an Eastern Pacific deployment where we went to Hawaii for a little bit. That was like our little rest and relaxation port. Then after that, I did an Arctic run. So I went to the North Pole, became a blue nose, surfaced the sub through the ice, uh, beat the British in a game of rugby and American football. And they beat us in soccer, but two to one. So best of three. Playing uh, the Kurds in soccer, they had this really beat up turf field by their barracks and we'd drive our truck over there and go play with them for hours every night. It is these stories told on campus, the conversations they spark, the opportunities they create that show at this university, it really is, God, country, Notre Dame. It was an honor to hear their stories and experiences for myself and, of course, the University of Notre Dame, continuing their commitment to those who have served and are serving in uniform for decades to come. Live in South Bend, Mary Coltrider, ABC 57.